Yung bang uh, iniisip nyo sa darating na halalan, eh, ibig sabihin, eh, mananatili pa kayo automatically sa Liberal Party? Or are you considering a new party? Or... Ito mga general questions lang. About, kasi madaming interesado sa inyo. Hindi lang gusto lang maintindihan yung iniisip nyo, anong plano nyo sa darating na halalan. Sa ngayon po, wala akong political party affiliation. Noong 2019, ako ay tumakbo bilang uh, guest candidate ng Liberal Party. Oh. Uh, right now, I, I have no affiliation with any particular political party. Siguro malalaman natin yan uh, as uh, the filing of the COC approaches. Yung isa kasing naging problema noon ay I was advised not to run as an independent kasi daw maari akong maging nuisance candidate dahil wala akong track record, wala akong pera at uh, nasa batas yan may kapangyarihan ng COMELEC to declare some candidates as nuisance. And now we have more options because of the number of votes I received in 2019. I think I, I even can run as an independent if that is the, the decision I will make. But it's too early for for that kind of decision. May May we ask, uh, Jel, anong number of votes you got, uh, if if you don't mind? By I, if I remember right, it was in the area of 6.3 million around there. What was the number of the number 12th position? I love you. Ay, nako. Hindi ko na maalala, pero malaki-laki yun. Uh, probably around 14 yata. I don't know if I got the number right. Okay. Uh, may tantanong dito from uh, Maria Lourdes Dumogalia. <coughs> Do foreign loans entered into by our president fall under the purview of COA? I think that is more within the purview of our Senate and uh, in particular. And I think that should be uh, very transparent. Uh, dapat din ang taong bayan ay may access dyan. Um, yung isang pinagmalaki ni Pangulo ng SONA ay yung freedom of information order na ibinaba niya. Pero on the ground, eh, hindi naman madaling kumuha ng information tulad ng mga loan agreements, foreign agreements um, with those types of transactions. It's very, very difficult to, to access um, uh, some of those documents. And especially, ang pinakamahirap siguro, yung SALN. Kasi dati, kung ikaw ay nasa executive department, it's so, dapat uh, dati madaling makakuha niyan. Pero ngayon, taghirap na talagang access natin dyan. All of these things may be brought to light if the succeeding administration is not uh, allied with the existing administration. Ang dami yung nababahala na ang Pomelec and Smartmatic are in, to quote the question, a comment we got here, in, are in cahoots. Do you believe that? Or do we have a fight for the support of one person, or do we just want to win? I think there is always hope and there is always a chance for victory, especially if the people are vigilant. Kung maalala ninyo sa mga nandito na nandun nung panahon ng Mar ni Marcos, nung tumakbo si, si Cory noon, eh, wala nagsabing may pag-aasa siyang nanalo. But because the people were vigilant and really guarded the ballot, uh, wala nagawa si Marcos noon. And I, I believe that 2022 is a call to action for all of us. We all have to do double time to make sure that the elections are not only conducted fairly, but the counting is done in a way that is transparent and also uh, accurate. Kasi, di ba, yun ang naging issue din natin ng 2019. Naniniwala ba raw kayo na maaaring makahalal ng tama ang masang Pilipino dahil sinasabi na ang masa daw ay madali magkamali sa paghalal sa mga dapat iboto? Paano bo magiging tama ang ihahalal nila? This is from uh, one of the Facebook viewers. Uh, yes po, naniniwala ako. 
na nagiging discerning na ngayon ang lahat ng Pilipino, lalong-lalo na sa nangyari sa atin sa ilalim ng pandemya. I think the pandemic has been an eye-opener, especially for the ordinary voter and the ordinary Filipino. Kasi dati, medyo maayos naman ang buhay natin, maganda yung ekonomiya natin, hindi nila naramdaman yung pagkukulang sa pamamahala. Pero sa ilalim ng pandemya, whether you like it or not, mararamdaman at mararamdaman natin kung magandang takbo ng management o kung hindi. And uh, from my own, from what I've gathered, it's um, people, especially the ordinary citizen, nakita naman nila na may pagkukulang pagdating sa uh, pag-manage nitong pandemic natin. So many people now have uh, opened their eyes to the need to elect really servant leaders. Tawagin na lang natin silang gano'n. Rory Adriano. Rory Adriano has a question. Yeah, I have a concern about the budget allocations of the government. The increases in the Office of the President Intelligence Fund, which is not audited, and the, and the increases in the astronomical increases, no? also in the police and military uh, budget, uh, which I heard will be a, a big concern in the future because I think the government cannot afford to sustain this. And then the very minute um, increase in the allocation for the social sectors, for the education and for the health. The education, they, they are forced to increase it because it's mandated by the constitution. Otherwise, they, and then they probably may not even give much importance to it. No? And then there will be no ayuda or conditional cash transfers for next year. So how do we, you know, what can we do about it? Like ordinary citizens, especially you, who will be hope we hope we hope we we'll, we'll run for national elections. Yeah, we'll comes come, come next election. Yeah, thank you. Uh, salamat din, uh, Ma'am Rory. I think that number one, even now, we should already be speaking out about that issue. Although it might be difficult to convince those in power to do something about it maigi na na alam nilang concern tayo. But uh, even more than that, I think exercising our right to choose the next leadership is going to be crucial there. Because after all, pera ng bayan yan eh. Kaya ang tanong dyan eh, bakit dyan napupunta yung, yung budget ng ating pamahalaan? I would also encourage everyone to get involved in voter education. It doesn't have to be formal type of education, but whoever is in our circles, both um, in work and, and socially and in family, let's, let's reach out to them. Let's make them understand that this coming election is really going to be crucial and that every single vote counts. Minsan, na, nalungkot ako, may kausap akong youth na ang tanong sa akin, sabi niya, eh, wala naman tayong pag-asa dyan eh. Hindi naman bibilangin yung boto ko. But I was telling him, the, the youth who asked, I said, to make a million votes, you need one. If you want five million votes, you still need one. Okay, it all begins with you. Okay, it all begins with each of us. And the more of us are aware of kung kanong kahalaga yung boto natin, uh, the better off we will be in the coming elections. Thank you. Meron question dito. Again, ano ba ang maganda kung meron man na nagawa ang kasalukuyang administrasyon? <laughs> Well, um, as a former smoker, I can say that uh, this government was very good in its uh, anti-smoking uh, um, movement. Um, I think it has also shown us the stark difference between a what we would call a traditional leader and a servant leader and emphasizes that the kind of leader we need for this country and in the future really must be leaders who will truly love our country, who will sacrifice their life uh, against any kind of foreign intrusions into our country, and who will do everything they can for the poorest of the poor. I, I believe we should judge our leadership by how they treat the marginalized in our country. I yun ang talagang standard na dapat mapatupad natin para sa ating liderato. 
את אוהו שגודלי, רדי ציבור אני דודר תה, אדם איחום נקומן, מאורדינרי טאו. נאיום פרטים שנסבי דם פרסידנטי נא, גלית נגלית שפק פומי פעילה אמן אדם. To a large extent, נגיירי הוא יאן, ספקוהן נא לסנציה, ספקוהן נא פספורט, ספקוהן נא פרבם, דנא דיק דיק נא סמאנג אייג'נסיס נא, גאוין נא טרבחו נא. at huwag niyo pahirapan yung maliit na tao. Whether you agree or not, madami hong ganyan ang paniwala at naramdaman nila. What do you think? Is this a, in your opinion, is this a rampa? Is this prevalent? Madami ba talaga natulungan o propaganda lang? It's very hard for me to say I don't have the data to come to a conclusion on that. Although superficially, I think it is something that people are, are looking for. Ang issue, issue yan kasi ng anti-red tape din eh. And now that we have that commission, uh, yun talaga, dapat uh, bigyan nila ng prioridad yan. And in terms of the real problems of the country, however, tingin ko malayo yan sa sikmura ng mga Pilipino in the sense na what we are most concerned with today are issues of food, issues of jobs, and issues of access to health and medical treatment if we get sick with COVID. Kaya oh, maganda nga yun. It, it uh, makes it makes our life easier. Kung wala nga mahabang pila, especially pagka ikaw ay nakapila sa ilalim ng araw o sa lakas na, malakas na ulan, um, okay, sa akin maganda rin na hakbang yon, But uh, mag, sana tingnan ng ating pamahalaan yung talagang uh, malalim na pangangailangan ng uh, taong bayan. Ano po ba rin ang ibig sabihin ng servant leader? Ay, yung servant leader, yung nakikinig, hindi nagdidikta. Yung servant leader, nagko-consult. At talagang pag nag-consult, ay kinoconsidera naman niya yung mga feedback na nanggagaling sa iba. Yung servant leader, ang layunin niya ay ma-empower yung ating mga kapatid na lalo nang nasa laylayan ng ating lipunan. Hindi yung ma-empower ang sarili niya. Yung servant leader, ang sinusulong na interest ay interest ng bayan palagi at hindi yung interest ng sarili niya o ng pamilya niya o ng mga negosyo niya. Yun ang tingin kong uh, leader na kailangan natin ngayon. Ah, itong comment, yun daw OP discretionary fund uh, has increased to balloon to astronomic proportion. Wala namang amount sinabi. Yeah, sinabi 2020. In, 13 billion. In 2020, 13 billion. Wow. Discretionary funds of the office of the president. Wow. 13 billion. Pa so she's asking how can he be made to account? How, tanong, how can any president who has this kind of uh, discretionary fund be held accountable? Yes, that's, um, that brings us back to the issue of accountability in general. And yung isang nakakalungkot dito sa nangyari sa atin sa pandemic ay na-sideline ang COA natin. The COA is really supposed to be the main agency to make sure that public funds are spent uh, really for public purposes, um, both in terms of the legal framework and as well as the emergency regulations ay talaga na-sideline sila. Um, yung susunod na mapapasok sa kongreso, tingin ko dapat um, pag-aralan nila mabuti yan. Kasi especially in, in an emergency, I think the more we need the presence of COA to make sure that uh, we're not, no, the people's money is not being misused. I have, the, I don't see any more questions here. Uh, may pahabol. Uh... <laughs> Anong comment or stand niyo tungkol sa Dolomite? <laughs> well, ako mismo nasa sayangan ako doon sa perang ginastos para dyan sa Dolomite na yan. I don't know if it's true, pero the other day may nakita akong post na sabi niya halos nawala na raw yung, yung ginawa nila doon sa Rojas Boulevard. In any case, my question there is talaga mga priority yan. Well, it's true na napapakinabangan ng mga kapatid natin yan na, na, na nandun. 
uh, is that really among the high priorities that we should be using the people's money for? Um, I, I think that's a question that must be answered as well. I think that was the last comment or question that we have. Would you like to uh, make an end statement, uh, Chell, uh, before we uh, thank the audience for joining us and uh, listening to you? Una una again, magpapasalamat ako sa inyo, uh, Topax at sa Ateneo 576-165 alumni group. Uh, lalong lalo na na ako ay galing sa kabilang eskwelahan and yet uh, <laughs> pinunlakan niyo ako na maging guest uh, ninyo ngayon. At nakatinaho namin kayo. <laughs> Thank you and, and really I hope that we can all work together. Sana magsama-sama tayo para magkaroon tayo ng isang magandang kinabukasan. Total ang pinag-uusapan natin naman ngayon, hindi yung buhay natin. Eh, tayo, mga, mga thunder na tayo. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon at ang nakasalalay ay yung buhay ng ating mga anak at uh, mga susunod na generasyon ng Pilipino. Maraming salamat po ulit. Uy, may pahabol dito dahil kilala niyo daw si VP Lenny. What do you think of uh, her being of, to, to quote the questioner Pussy Putin on even indicating her interest to run. Is there still time to prepare? Palagi ko naman, may panahon pa. And I think we have to understand where the Vice President is coming from. Um, it's, it's not an easy decision to run for the presidency, especially given the, the political landscape that we have now. But I'm very confident that she is, she is going to do the right thing because she has been doing the right thing for all these years as uh, Vice President. Ako, bungbu pa rin ang tiwala at support ako kay Ma'am Lenny. I guess what you're saying, uh, Chell, is a lot is at stake in this coming election. Yes, and she knows so, it. Kailangan lahat tayo ma-involved na in one way or another and have a sense of country for the Philippines dahil hindi na pwedeng patakbuhin ang bayan ng puro political considerations na natin. Sabi nga ni Attorney Sagisag, we need a leader, not a ruler, yes. para kasama tayong lahat. Servant leadership na yun ang definition ninyo. So, with that, I'd like, in behalf of the Eagles, Ateneo 57-61-65 group, and to all our Lasalite friends, uh, we are your brothers after all. Uh, <laughs> maraming maraming salamat, Chell, Attorney Chell Jokno, for, for gracing our Zoom session this morning. And I hope we can see you again and uh, be in conversation with you again, especially you. when you launch your campaign. Maraming maraming salamat. And thank you for everyone who joined us today. Maraming salamat sa Facebook guests ng Disabilities. Tandaan ninyo, nasa kamay natin ng ating kinabukasan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much. Thank you.